Hi, my name is Eric May, Vice President of Client Relations here at OTC Markets Group, and I'm here with our EVP of Market Data, Matt Fuchs. Welcome, Matt. Thanks, Eric. Appreciate it. So, Matt, if you wouldn't mind, walk us through the compliance data feed. What types of firms are taking the data, and what does it mean for our issuers? Right. So, uh, our compliance data file, our, our suite of products, um, we built out, which it really helps firms, um, broker dealers, wealth management firms, uh, quantify and assess risk. So what we're helping them do is we're providing a lot of reference information. We're quantifying um, risk for OTC uh, issuers and securities. Um, mm -hmm. And so the way we do this is we create, we have, we look at, you know, more than 23 different parameters. Um, one of them being uh, the market tier, the amount of trading activity, corporate actions, um, shell status. Uh, we look at the penny stock rule. There's a lot of different things we evaluate, and what we do is we create a score uh, that compliance departments uh, use as part of their, their risk program. Um, and this is really important for issuers to understand how these programs are built. Um, our data is part of their larger program, so they use our data in conjunction with data that they have uh, about you know, their customers, uh, patterns they've seen in, in the past, and they use our data as part of that process um, to build their policies um, um, for OTC securities. So it's really important. We've seen um, really great take up um, of the product over the past um, you know, five years, and we've continued to, to build on it. Um, so it, it, it's, it's, uh, it, it's a product that we feel is, is also helping um, broker dealers and wealth management firms understand the OTC space a lot better. Um, you know, there's a lot of breadth of issuers and securities in our industry, uh, in our market, and for them to be able to, you know, quantify um, risk helps them, um, you know, create policies that make it simpler um, for customers to trade OTC securities in certain senses and makes it more difficult for them to trade them in other instances. So in 2022, OTC markets acquired two companies. We'll start with Blue Sky Data Corp. How does that fit into the market data line? Right, so um, Blue Sky Data um, is a compliance product, right? Cause, so Blue Sky uh, references uh, state securities laws. And what these laws um, note at a high level is, um, you know, around solicitation and recommendation of uh, securities, um, equity and fixed income securities. So this fits very much into our compliance uh, suite of products that we've been uh, building over the last uh, five years. So many of the customers who, um, same thing, broker dealers, wealth management firms who use our compliance data, uh, our risk scoring um, concepts on, on that side are also uh, consumers of Blue Sky data. Um, because really what they're looking at, it's, it's part of the holistic um, compliance and risk program for um, broker dealers and wealth management firms. So they're using Blue Sky data to let their um, FAs, um, RIAs know um, whether uh, they can solicit these securities, whether they can write research, they can do recommendations. And then on the other side is the, the compliance side of things, which is the risk scoring, um, which they use as for an overall policy. So it, it meshed uh, very well together, and it's also, you know, really goes to our, our um, you know, larger concept of helping OTC issuers around understanding um, these, uh, these regulations and then helping our issuers be able to get as many exemptions as they can because uh, it's really important to get FAs and, and brokers to know the space and to be able to talk about, you know, talk about um, your story that you have out there from an issuer uh, investor relations perspective. So, you know, for example, you know, QX and QB securities um, automatically get approximately, you know, three quarters of all the jurisdictions, right? So that's just right off the bat. And then there's other things. So the fact that we understand all that data um, on the market data side also um, helps OTC issuers. Yes, yeah, super important point for issuers to understand. So the second acquisition was Edgar Online. How does that work in, in the market data space? Right, so Edgar Online, um, really the, what they've done, and, and they've been around a long time since the, uh, since the late 90s, is process um, SEC filings 
um, and, and data that comes from those filings. So again, similar to Blue Sky, that really crosses over with our marketplace, right? We have over 2,500 SEC reporting companies uh, on our market. Edgar Online, we were a customer of Edgar Online, uh, and now we have all that data in-house. We'll be able to use that data, again, for our own internal uh, compliance processes, as well as turn that data, you know, get that data out in more places, um, really understand um, the SEC financials, we're also planning on uh, building out um, uh, OT, uh, OTC financials through the Edgar service, which we've been doing for a couple of years, but we're gonna try to get that out uh, uh, through additional distribution um, partners. Um, so it's really important. We're in kind of early days with it. We're still you know, figuring it out, but it's a, it's a ton of data. Um, like I said, you know, we have filings and data going back to 1994. Wow. Um, so it's pretty interesting. It's, it's a lot of stuff. Um, you know, it's uh, uh, been busy for yeah, sure. No doubt. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, Matt. We appreciate your time today. Yeah, no problem. Thank thanks. you.